Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. It's a different video. And of course, in keeping with my Motivate and Empower series, this is definitely going to be another one of those videos. For this Motivate and Empower series, we're going to talk about learning how to trust yourself, to stop caring what people think. Now, I know this is very, very hard, but I feel like this is the one thing that you know, it gets to people so much that it uh, prevents them from following through with their goals and actually even achieving them because we care so much what other people think, what they say. And yeah, this video is going to be wean yourself away from that. I, it's a it's a hard, it's, it's a long process of which I myself still, I'm also going through all of that, but I feel like it would be so, so important for us to discuss what you can start doing to try and wean yourself away from caring what people think and to learn to trust yourself a little bit more. So as you know, with these videos, I always have five tips to just sort of encourage this kind of behavior where you can trust yourself and stop caring what people think. Point number one, lower your expectation of people. Like this, I feel for me, was one of the hardest things to do, to lower my expectation of what I expect from people and how people will treat me or how they will speak to me, what they will say. Um, the reality is, Humans inherently, we're all flawed. Definitely, we're all flawed. We all have problems. We are not perfect. We struggle with perfection. No matter how much we may want it, we struggle with it. I feel like once we get to the point where we wean ourselves away from putting so much value and on what people say and expecting people to um, validate us through sharing whatever it is that we share with them, once we can wean ourselves away from that, it helps for living a much better life in terms of not caring what people think because you're living for you and you're validating yourself and not caring about what people what other people think of you two now this is a very very important one for me so so important stop sharing your goals dreams aspirations with people stop just stop do me that favor and stop Listen, it is so important for you to hear me on this one. I know that, you know, when we come up with a new idea or we aspire to, you know, go to the gym, you want to lose 10 kilograms and you want to share that with your friend and share with your friend how you're going to lose that 10 kilograms or you want to, um, I, I don't know, you want to start a new business, you want to um, change you know, decorate your house, redecorate your house, and you want to share all of that with your friends or share all of that with your acquaintances or whatever, stop. Just stop. Because let me explain something to you. Not everyone is for you. And I learned this the hard way. I'm not even going to lie to you. With friends, colleagues, acquaintances, not everyone is for you. People may smile to your face, but people are wolves in sheep's clothing. You can sit there thinking that I'm going to tell my friend this and my friend is going to support me and this and that and the other. Meanwhile, your friend doesn't give, your friend don't give a damn, sis. Don't get me wrong. There are people that you can speak to about your dreams, goals, and aspirations, but sift them out. And those kinds of people are very, very rare. There are many people who do not mind tarnishing your reputation. There are many people who do not mind putting up a picture of you while you are trying to get your business off the ground, putting up a picture of you and a family member or you somewhere drunk and blah, 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 so that you can lose all sense of credibility as a business person and as a professional. There are people who will stop at nothing to ruin you and sometimes sharing your goals dreams aspirations um with people yes maybe you might want to do that so you hold yourself accountable but to who and for what you should be accountable to yourself the only person you should hold yourself accountable to very highly in terms of high standards is yourself no one else um you shouldn't be having to share things with people so it, it seems like you're asking them for permission on how to live your life you know so i'm going to tell you about me starting a business and whatever whatever what do you think blah 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 no if you're sharing it with the right people like really good people that 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 um bring value people that bring value to your life i'm telling you the responses are going to be very different to somebody who doesn't 
care. Just stop. It doesn't necessarily mean that people aren't making the same moves that you are making, but sometimes you kill yourself by sharing some really solid ideas with just the wrong people. Move in silence, keep quiet, stop sharing your dreams and goals, and just hit the ground running and do your thing silently. Silently. Another thing is, just so you can stop caring what people think, about you another really really important thing is stop seeking validation for everything you do stop stop i know when we grow up growing up from a young age we seek validation in everything we do you go to school you go to crash or kindergarten or whatever you want to call it and you draw a little nice painting for mommy and daddy and the first thing you do when you get home mommy daddy i do this what do you think that's great we grew up like this. We grew up seeking validation from others as a means to validate our own lives, as a means to um, sort of, you know, see ourselves better or see ourselves in a different light. Stop doing that. Stop asking people for permission on how you can run your life. The only person you need to be accountable to is yourself. You don't have to be accountable to anyone else. You need to learn how to live your life the way you want to live your life. You might see it as if you're asking people for, your, for their opinion. But people will always respond from their perspective. People will always respond subjectively. You cannot ask for someone's opinion and then expect them to be objective. A lot of the time, sometimes, very rarely, sometimes they can be objective as if, if this is someone who truly cares about you, they'll be objective. But with anybody and everybody and whatever, they'll always respond to you from their personal opinion. They would put themselves in your position and they would respond to you based on how they would re respond if it was themselves. So stop that. The only person you need to validate is yourself. Whether people like it or not, that's none of your business. It's none of you. It's none of you. you do you. That's it. Another thing that'll help you stop caring about what people think, keep your private life private. Like, honestly, keep your private life private. And when I'm talking about keep your private life private, I'm not talking about just your lover and your personal life and all of that. Other things, buying cars, buying Moogle properties, doing this, doing this. Keep certain moves you make private. Move in silence because first and foremost, Rebota Kiro Nababang, okay? We're black, we've got African descent. Not everybody's gonna want the best for you and people are willing to go through Bushiga Shiga nonsense to try and ruin your life. So certain things you must keep quiet. You can't, you can't, hey man, I've never been on board with people sharing, you know, pictures of, you know, the cars and whatever. Look, if you're standing in a picture next to your car and whatever, it's cool, you know, but now having to share this, the car you bought and inside, outside, and, and, and you bought this house and this house is five million rand and you did this and this and this, stop that shit. Stop. Stop. Like, honestly, learn to keep what is private core to you private move in silence because not every not everybody's on your side though i feel like this is this is simple not everybody's on your side and once you realize that not everybody is for you you learn to stop caring what people think because the only person that you you know will be for you is your close circle the people who actually do give a damn about you but also yourself more than anything you're in competition with yourself you need to validate yourself. You need to speak to yourself about how you want to run your life, not other people. So if you are going to put, publicize each and every single thing you do about your life, you need to be very careful about, yeah, don't, don't, don't be upset when people start making comments about your life or when people start doing whatever. You put it out there. If you're going to dish it, take it. You know what I mean? So I feel like, that's, that's all there is to that. Keep your private life private. Honestly, move in silence. Move in silence. That's it. And then the last one is know your worth. Okay? Know your worth. Know what you bring to the table. Okay? Know who the F you is, basically. 
okay? If you know, if people are going to come try, try you about, you know, try infiltrate your relationship, infiltrate your business, infiltrate whatever. People are trying to do that because they know you're not to be messed with. You're not to be fixed with, okay? Because you're that girl. Okay, you need to understand you are that girl and you need to believe it every single day of your life. You don't need to justify how you live your life to anyone because you know what your worth is, right? So you don't need to justify it to anyone else. You know how important you is to yourself and to the people that matter to you. So you don't need to justify. No. And once you know your worth, you, you, you learn to uh, put more trust in yourself. You know what I mean? You trust yourself a lot more because you know what you're about. You know your worth. You don't get a damn about what other people... Mm. Girl, chat, I love this part of the conversation. When you know your worth, not many people can infiltrate you. Not many people can come here and try you. That will never, never, ever, ever happen. They can try. They can be like, oh, we know your business. We know your what, what. Okay, you may know my business, but you don't know me. So know my business. And because you don't know my business through me, you don't know my business. You know what I mean? So know who you are. Know your worth. People will try and judge everything about you. They'll judge your relationship. They'll judge, oh, child, they judge your relationship. They judge your relationship. They will judge your personal life, they'll judge your job, they'll judge your family. Everybody will always have to say. You know who you are and you know what you're about and you know what you bring to a table. You're formidable. That's all there is to it. You're formidable. You know that once you lay your hand on something, you're the golden thread. You're the golden thread that people are missing in their lives. That companies are missing in their, in their, in their institutions. You are that golden thread when you know your worth. When you know who you are. That's it. These are my five tips on what you can do to start trusting yourself more. And to stop thinking what other people, you know, to stop worrying. And to stop worrying about what other people think. That's all there is on that. Okay? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye.